Hey, so we're here with Pat from Southwell Solar Inspections and Pat has come out with us to one of our sites in Richmond, New South Wales to do a voluntary inspection. Pat, welcome. What are we going to be looking for today? Great to be here. I'm going to be looking for a lot of stuff. So I want to see if this, if your installations are up to um, a Solar Vic inspection or yeah. a Solar Vic audit and let's see if you sort of make awesome. great in Victoria. That's what I'm interested in. <laughs> awesome. Well, hey, let's bring it on. I'm somewhat nervous but slightly <laughs> confident. So let's go, Pat. No worries. <laughs> Now this is a pretty simple single story installation um, with a tile roof, a few roof faces here but we don't have anything out of the ordinary like I can't hear any barking dogs or anything like that. The weather conditions are actually really good, it's about 25 degrees, cloudy, perfect to be inspecting actually. Um, no wind and it's not slippery or anything like that so it's just going to be my normal JSA. This sling just goes underneath. All right, there's my first anchor point. Anchor point. There's my system, ensures I'm not gonna fall down. Very important to be safe, even for an inspector doing a solar inspection. So it allows me to get around this roof and make sure I'm not gonna fall. So next thing I'll do is head down, isolate the system, make sure everything's off. There's no live power anywhere. And then I'll run my earth lead out and we'll do an earthing continuity test. That's the first one I go to. Yeah. You wouldn't, you wouldn't believe it. So here at the switchboard, we want to make sure we find an exposed metal part or we want to get a good earth to make sure we get an earthing continuity test and make sure we do have a good connection of earth up to the array and make sure it's under 0.5 of a gnome. All good? Yep. Okay. Just zeroing out again, because I'm taking my lead off. So it looks like I'm gonna come off this point here for an earth. Okay, that's no good, check it here. Seems to be a good earth to the frame. So I'm happy with that. Okay, so I've got my earth from the switchboard. Now we can head out for doing an earthing continuity test. So the next thing I'll do is take out one of my leads. I only need one of these leads to do an earthing continuity test. Plug in my earth lead into the other side, which I know I've got my earthing connection. And then I can go around to each panel Make sure we've got earth in continuity. I can just do that with this and make sure we have a continuous loop all the way back to earth. So let's see how it goes. So to any budding inspectors out there, if you want to become an inspector, go and get yourself a good trusty towel. <laughs> Nothing will slip off this. You can, you can put stuff on it. And if the roof is slightly wet or anything like that, good to dry. There you go, a nice little tip for all you budding inspectors. All right, so I'm gonna first start We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine panels on this array. I'm gonna go to the top of those first and work my way around the corners. And also while I'm doing that, I can also do a visual check to see if there's any cues for any other defects. So I'll be looking for cable management and um, also to make sure the earthing looks like it's been ran in a compliant way. So I'll hit up. So when doing an earthing continuity test, I usually like to do two panels at a time. And I'll usually start with the corners on the first, between the junction of the first and the second panel. And then I can see what I'm gonna get. Okay, yep, that's good. Yep, just under 0.1 of an ohm, beautiful. No worries at all, it's basically zero. And then I'll have a look at, first look at the uh, cable management and the earth earth logs. So that's usually when I'll take my first photo from the roof. Yep, that's good. Then just this lonesome one here by itself. 
So the other thing I like to check as well is the end of the rails, because that's where usually where the aluminium gets cut. And you can check where the rails are being earthed as well. Not so much of a concern here on an end phase system, because you only actually really need to earth rails if there's DC cables which are connected to them. Um, haven't seen yet if they've used, if they've connected any of the panels from the cables onto the rails or not, but it looks like, yeah, it looks like it doesn't matter anyway, because they've got really good earthing continuity on the rails as well. So it doesn't really matter. I'll just whip around and do the rest of the array. So I'll just do this bit. I'll just do this bit a bit faster and anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see how many screws you put in. Yep. So I'm going to try and kick up a tyre which is the closest to the edge of the panel because if you kick up the ones under the panel they're hard to get back down. So I do have one. It might be hard to see with the sarking but I'm determined to find out. So best way to do this, chuck the, turn the light on my on my camera. For the next part of the inspection I'm going to look at is the switching for this is an AC system. So we're, when it's end phase, um, we're going to have a rooftop isolator if it's done correctly. Um, it's only AC, so it's much safer than the old DC isolators. So I'm just going to check that out, check the connections and make sure that's all good. Get ready to take some photos of what I'm going to see here. So Got a sign here, AC isolator under panel. Okay, let's see what we can find. Here we go. AC isolator, all right. Okay, connect. AC isolator sitting under the panel. So it's not something I would normally see in a Victorian installation. Um, not to say it's not right, but I'd, this is something I'd be, I'm gonna check the standards to see if that complies. Um, I dare say it probably is because I can access it okay. But I just wanna make sure that that's okay. Cause I'm used to seeing the AC isolators just on the outside. Of the, of the panels. Um, it's a good spot for it under there, as far as it's gonna be protected from the environment, protected from the weather. Um, and you can operate it easily enough but just by sticking your hand underneath. It's only sort of right on the edge here. So anyway, I'm gonna open it up and just have a quick look. Another thing I'll look at is how far apart the, um, the fixings to the roof are. Um, Usually, if they're too far apart, I'll grab the tape measure out. I can tell, I can tell here on this. It's well within what's acceptable on this racking system. Not even, no, not, no point even pulling out the tape measure. Yeah, yeah, you're well within, well within it. Your cable management's pretty spot on. Looks good, nice and neat. Good fixings being used. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Steel ties, and there's, there's, there's a couple of plastics in there. Oh, under the array. Yeah, under the array. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what it looks like, yeah. So, yeah, it's certainly not gonna be um, falling onto the roof surface, that's for sure. So that's that's it for the roof component of the inspection. So there's a few tests to check underneath, but so far up top, we're looking pretty good. Um, haven't seen anything that really concerns me. I whip it off. Yep. Now? Yeah. All right, we, we on? Yeah. Yep, okay. So, got this end phase eye board here. So, gonna open this up. Inside, got the main switch inverter supply, envoy supply, and the relay as well. All three phase. And then we've got the envoy in the DIN rail above. Shutdown procedure looks pretty good um, for an AC system. All nicely um, branded as well, looking good. So I'll open that up. Last task in your camera. King, just taking a photo as I do on every installation to make sure it's done correctly and then I can go back over my records. Um, so we've got the relay on top for this um, end phase system. Um, this is the eye board here. And main switch inverter supply underneath, envoy supply and the circuit break on the right is for the relay. Uh, then we have the envoy underneath, which is, looks like it's behind the shutdown procedure. The shutdown procedure, the wording looks good. 
So that's one of the visual checks I do. Multiple, multiple supplies, warning label is correct and adjacent to the equipment, which is fine. And yeah, I like the wording of the shutdown procedure. And really good to see some, um, some branding as well on the shutdown procedure. It makes it look really good for the customers. All right, so I wanna see him behind there. Check my connections, do a few tests, so open this up. Okay. Open that up, all right. Let's see what we've got here. So, okay, so like a lot of this is pre-made, but still, in, still important to check the connections inside everything. So I usually take a photo of this. All right. So I'll then I'll go through and check the connections into the circuit breaker. It's the main switch inverter supply, make sure they're all nice and tight. So even on the pre-made connections, still check them. They can rattle loose in transit or someone could accidentally undo it. Check the bottom as well. Oh, was that? No, that's good. All right, all of those are really good. So then I move my way down to the neutral and earth bar, making sure <clears throat> making sure the neutral and the earths are in their correct position. It looks like they are. So it looks like that main one is in the first terminal, which is good. And then you've got the next two coming off in the next terminals, that's fine. So I'll check the connection of those. Yep, that's nice. Yep, nice and tight. And then the earth bar underneath as well. All right. So, so far that all looks looks really good. Another thing I wanna check when I check these boards out is that, is that they're, um, there's not gonna be any chance of fire spreading if a fire does start. So that's part of one of the things in AS3000. It's clause 2107. So at the back here, we wanna make sure it's all sealed. So where the cables enter, that looks fine. We wanna make sure if there's any penetrations that they are sealed or that any holes are not more than five mil in diameter. Looks like there's nothing there at all. That's really nicely sealed up. Um, yeah, that all looks pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Just take another photo of that just there. Making sure that's good, yep. All right, so another thing I always check is the cable management as well inside the switchboard. Jesus, this looks really nice. Loomed up beautifully. Nice plastic cable ties. Yeah, this looks really good. The CT's on the side. No problems here at all. All right, so the next, next test I'll do here will be for correct circuit connection. So for this, for this I've got my AC-DC fork tester. So this tests for current. Um, I want to be testing in the AC scale because this is obviously producing AC. So we want to make sure all the current on the conductors is flowing as it's, as it's supposed to be. So we want to make sure we've got current on all of the three um, active conductors. So here, all right, yep, 4.4, 4.5, 4.6, that's good. On the white, six, seven, yep, looks good. Seven, seven and a half. All right, that's all good. So in this case, I would expect to see a small amount of current on the neutral, I think. Hard to say exactly, but let's see what we've got. Yep, 2.3, yeah, that's about right. That seems about right. And then we're gonna be expecting um, a very, very low, there might be some residual current on the earthing, but um, ideally we wanna see zero. We wanna see zero current on the earth. So let's move that one to the side. 0, 0.0, perfect. We've got both the earthing conductors there. So yeah, we've got zero. That's perfect, that's exactly what we want. So now I know I've got the correct circuit connection. I know that we have uh, current flowing on the active conductors current flowing as I would have expected on the neutral and no current flowing on the earth. So because this is a three phase system, I'm also just gonna do a check to make sure we've got um, all the phases are actually connected up to phases. So I'm gonna be wanting 
uh, around that 400 volts between the phases and around that 230 uh, between phase and neutral. So, I'll be doing that with my, my flute meter. Want that on the AC volts. Yep, okay, that's zero. That's good. So normally what I would do is find a good spot to clip this on where I can just watch it and then I've got two hands free. I reckon maybe, maybe on the side there. That looks pretty good. All right, so gonna be, gonna be expecting around about 400 volts, maybe a bit more between the active conductors. So we'll go red to white. 427, yep, that's good. Red to blue, we should get something similar. 427 again, and then white to blue. 427, perfect. All right, no worries. So that's slightly higher than uh, I'd expect. There might be some slight, slightly high voltage in the area. So I'd expect a slightly higher reading off my active to, um, active to neutral test. So I'm a, I'll take a guess here. I'm gonna guess it's gonna be about 243. Two, 249? Uh, yeah, well, it can go up to 253, can't it? 230 plus 10%, minus 6%. Yeah, minus 6%, yeah. 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 Oh, is that 249. 249. Yeah, all right, let's see. 246.3. All right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, 246. So that's on the, we've got that on the red phase. Go on the white. 246.8. Yep, really well balanced. So that's good, that's exactly what I'd expect. I can confirm now that all the conductors coming through, uh, all the active conductors are confirmed as active conductors, um, and also with the neutrals and the earths. So we do have, um, we've got the correct polarity, um, and that's exactly what we'd expect inside this board. So inside the board, it all looks pretty good. Um, I'm happy with what's in here inside this eye board. So we can now close that up. Do an earthing continuity test, which I haven't done yet. I want to do that between this eye board and the main switchboard. Um, it's usually, there we go. Yep, all right. So I know I've got, to the frame of this, I know I've got good earthing continuity. I tested that before. So I want to make sure that's correct. So on the three ohm scale, scale, yep, that's zeroed out. Okay, so we'll go between the earth bar if we get a good reading here, we're sweet. Yeah, that's fine. Zero. So that's good. We've got earthing continuity here. I'm happy that this has got that this is all correct. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the other test I want to do here is for anti-islanding. Um, so we can sort of do that in two stages. First one I want to do is. Uh, knock out the main switch inverter supply and then make sure that the um, the envoy turns off and the relay turns off and that has to happen within two seconds of the power being cut. Uh, once once we can confirm that I'm then going to re-energize and it can't re-energize within 60 seconds. Um, so they're, they're two of the tests we check. So what I'm going to do is just get my going to get my timer ready. This is normally how I do it. So go timer on my phone. Oops. One minute. Okay, so the first one I can see within two seconds if that green light comes off and these green lights come off. So I'll trip it out and we'll see. Yep, that's instant. That was under one second. So that's perfect. All right, so then I'm gonna re-energize and we have to make sure we're not on for um, less than that 60 seconds. So I'll re-energize and hit my timer at the same time. All right, so then I can just leave that, do something else for a minute or so. We wanna make sure it hasn't reconnected before that's finished. All right, so next thing I wanna check is we've got Got the main isolator inverter supply here. So that's protecting the cables going between the main switchboard and the eye board. Um, 
That's on a 20 amp three phase breaker. So let's open that up and just have a look inside there. Make sure we're using the right size cables and the connections in there are tight. All right, so that looks like it's a four mil cable. Only the best. Only the best. Well, there we go, there's my timer. I have it still, still off, yep. Yep, still got red lights on. All right, so I can, that's good, so I can check that in whenever. It's been, um, been more than 60 seconds, so it's past that test now. All right, so we've come back to this main isolator, and yeah, four mil. Check these connections, yep. Nice, okay. So all the connections look good. Um, not squashing down on any of the insulation, which is good. It's all just copper. No problems at all. So the connections in there look pretty good. Yeah, how much of it? <laughs> <laughs> now, how much of it do we want to look behind? Now, let's see. Go for the neutral link. It's tagged off by the DNSP, so our main neutral okay. comes in. So that's your main neutral there? Yeah, yeah, yep, sweet. Feed to consumer's neutral link. That's the one we go in. Yeah, so we're allowed to open that? Yeah. All right, sweet. Totally different setup. Really? Yeah. What do you guys got? <laughs> so that's... Anything goes. <laughs> <laughs> no, all of this yeah. would be... None of that would be behind there. So this would all be inside the one enclosure. Well, we can do that. Yeah. Mm. And then you've got neutral bar and earth bar inside yeah. that enclosure. Yeah. Nothing behind yeah. here like that. Yeah, we can do either one. All right. All right. So another way you can get around that too... Look, I don't know if this, if this would fly in New yeah. South Wales, but in Victoria, if you don't mark that, your neutral here, you can actually mark your neutral. Uh, you can identify it at the terminal bar. Yeah. You can just put a tag on it saying solar neutral. Right. And if you do that, you can put it in any of these terminals as long as it's got its own terminal. Mm, interesting. Yep. So that's the way you can, that's another way you can identify it. Mm, I'm confident that doesn't fly. Yeah, right. I'm confident it's got to have the number on the front of the pole. Yeah. It could need both, to be honest. I don't know. But I'm, I'm really confident that we've got to mark the front. Yep. Or, if you, it's got to be circuit number. So you don't necessarily have to write N11. Yep. But if you number your circuits 1 to 10, say, it's yep. got to be the corresponding number in the bar. In a, oh, in the yeah, bar, yeah, okay. Yeah, the neutral bar. Yeah. Mm. Neutral link number. Yep, yep, yep. Interesting. Okay, so this is all about identification of yeah. circuits and making sure, it's just so if someone is, it has to pull it out, they know they know yeah. which conductor goes where. Yeah. So you pass that one. Whew. I nearly failed it. <laughs> all right, so that's good. Happy, we're happy with that. Um, all right, there, so solar eyes. And we can prove my eyes aren't as bad as they would have looked on this video, that N11. <laughs> Oh, look at that. I think we've got it. Yeah, that's on. Fixed. Yeah, we're good. All right, nice. Hey everyone, it's Pat Southwell here, licensed electrical inspector. So I've gone on a really big journey um, up to Penrith. As you all know, I'm from Melbourne, Victoria. So we spent all day out here in Penrith, mm. um, had a few discussions and yeah. done a side inspection. How do you yep. think things went? Pat, well, firstly, it was great to have you in Penrith. Yep. Um, you know, we're very proud of where we come from, and I'm glad I could show you what it's like. Yeah. Uh, before you come here, you said, I'll need a passport for that. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, the day went really well. I was yep. really, really impressed and surprised at the level of due diligence and um, detail that go into your inspections. Yep. You know, I know a lot of inspectors probably don't even throw a ladder, but yeah. you're on the roof today for a good hour, you yeah. know, and talking us through everything that you were testing, um, it was impressive to see. I yep. thought it went really well. It's very clear to me that your level of knowledge as a fellow electrician um, is, is deep. Yep. Um, deep and wide is how I would describe it. And um, it was it was great to, to learn a little bit more about compulsory inspections as yep. part of Solar Vic. Yep. Um, I think in New South Wales, we've got a gap you yeah, know, that yeah. may need to be filled. Yeah. So... Yeah, it was a great day. It was uh, I learned a lot today. So thank you, thanks no, for coming. Right. No worries. Yeah, I, yeah it, was, it was really good mm. just to see um, just to see the installations and how they happen in New mm. South Wales. 
slightly different to Victoria. A lot of it's pretty much the same, but yep. um, I was really impressed with the quality of your, of your team, yeah, the team's you. installations and your workmanship. Mm -hmm. um, very, very impressive. A lot of the things I look for in an installation um, for good quality, I, I saw, I found on this installation. Um, I was also quite impressed with um, your, your customer, right? Mm. So we rocked up and yep. um, like you didn't really handpick this customer. Like you, it was someone who was installed yesterday. Yep. You hadn't personally met them, had you? Never. Until today. Yep. Yeah, they seem really happy. Um, yeah. They were, and they were happy enough for us to do this inspection of as course. well, which I thought, mm. you know, that was really good. They didn't, they didn't mm. have to do it. Um, mm. But they were, they seemed like really nice people, had a really good experience so yep. far, which yep. I thought it was, um, yeah, I thought that's a testament to your company and, and the way you run things. Mm. Thanks, Pat. Yeah, that's something that I probably actually take for granted, to be honest, because yep. that customer we selected um, was yesterday's in one of 10 yesterday, yep. the closest to our factory, yeah, right? Yeah. So, we, you know, we knew we were on a time schedule. So I'd not met the customer. Turns out that the customer um, used to be a live liney, right? Mm. So someone like that who is in trades and has electrical background are going to be really picky as well, yep. um, which is just purely fluke, right? But yeah, they were stoked, which was yeah. awesome. It's always nice when customer welcomes you into their home, you know, yep. shares their bathroom with you, and, yeah. you know, um, wants to have a good discussion about the, the asset that they've just bolted to their home. So yeah. I agree. They you now you mentioned it. They it, it was good. It was a nice experience. It's like another five star review coming for your company there. So fingers you, crossed. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, so. fingers well, I crossed. hope so because I think you deserve it. A lot yeah. of the stuff I saw was, was really impressive. Mm. Um, I did all the tests I would normally do. We treated mm. this like a Solovic um, audit or yep. a prescribed inspection. So they're, they're quite similar. Mm -hmm. Took a lot of photos. Mm. Um, did a lot of filming. And it was yeah. I think the day went went really quite well. And I got a bit of an insight into. Um, I went to Penrith and you know mm. the way things are around here and the Penrith Solar Centre like I was just yeah pretty blown away everyone I'd spoken to who's done a visit of your facility has yeah. been blown away um, a few people I know quite well have said oh mm. you're really going to be blown away and I'm, mm. I'm thinking this is I'm really looking forward to today yep. so did, it, did been, it live up oh man it really has like yeah. all the, I, I love your training facility yeah up top. thank you it's really yep. really good it's like it's as good as any um TAFE training facility that I'd sort of seen, like awesome. a lot of them are on a bigger scale. So yeah. you've got you've got all the stuff you've got all the stuff mm -hmm. there. Yep. You've got your simu simulated roofs, your bolt mm -hmm. boards. Mm -hmm. um, you've got a big testing board. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. We do. Every apprentice must yeah. get through that and yeah. be able to test all faults before they Love it. sit their capstone. So. It's a neat bit of kit, actually. Yeah, it's, it's pretty a, impressive that an apprentice built that. Yeah, it's re really good. I, yeah. I really appreciate that because um, starting from my LEI, I built something kind of similar. Very very similar as well. You've got the switches on the side and you can switch the faults yes, on and off. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so I had to do a similar type thing to that to um, become a licensed electrical inspector. Awesome. And so, yeah, that sort of made me feel a little bit warm and fuzzy. Yep. And it shows that you, you, you guys are doing the right thing because... I find a lot of electricians mm. don't know how to test. Mm. Like mm. you can know yep. how to turn stuff on. Yep. If it doesn't, you know, if it doesn't go bang, it's all good. <laughs> you know? Yeah, we see that a lot. Yeah, yeah, so you guys are testing really well. Yep. I can see that. Mm. Um, and it's it's shining through. And mm. yeah, I, re I really loved really love what I see. And yeah, Penrith, man, it's what a what yeah. a place. What a place. Ooh, like what like I don't for me it's natural. I no. love it. You know, I fight for Penrith every day. Oh. Like I call Penrith the opportunity capital of the world. Right, it's great. you can do anything you want in Penrith, and no one will tell you no, mm. unless it's probably illegal. But like <laughs> any anything uh, with good intentions yeah. will be warmly received by the people of Penrith. So, yeah, yeah. and that's what we're out here doing. You know, we're we're leading um, the pack. We like to think from Penrith. We're, For sure, we've got a saying that we say: Penrith passion wherever the sun may shine. Oh, how is that? Yeah, it's pretty Love cool. It. So that's what we're about. Well, I, you know, a few people have said, "Oh, you're going to Penrith? I'll make sure you got your board." Yeah, and all that sort of yeah. Stuff. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, but I'll tell you, I must say, yeah. like I was walking around Penrith, mm -hmm. I didn't feel like the slightest bit unsafe or anything. Like no. it was, it's actually, it's yep. actually a really, it's, it's, it's a really, really cool place. It's got some yep. really good um, food places. Yeah, yeah. Coffee's good. Great. Coffee's good. A fifteen hundred dollar cup of coffee in Penrith. <laughs> there you go. That's that's what yeah. you want. I, mean, it's, I, I love being from Melbourne. As an electrical inspector, that's probably what you want. <laughs> <laughs> uh, too funny. Yeah. But um, being from Melbourne, I like my coffee to be strong. I don't like mm. going places and the coffee's not strong. Yep. The coffee got me this morning, really, really strong, loved mm. it. Kept yep. me going for the day, so. It's a another... great local Penrith business. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. And I, yeah, I love it around here. And there's, um, there's 
a lot of people who, you know, get into Penrith, well, they've probably never been here. So it's <laughs> bring them on, back. bring them on. Oh, we'll wow. convert them all. Well, we'll I'll, I'll, be, I'll be going back down to Melbourne yep. and saying how good Penrith is. We'll send you home with a Panthers jersey. How about that? I don't know if I go that far. Oh, <laughs> Panthers, dear. Yeah. Well, Pat, listen, it was fantastic to have you here. Yeah, uh, I, love, I love being here. Thanks so, mm. thanks so much for having me. No problem. Um, really enjoyed my trip up here to Sydney. Mm -hmm. Um, came up with a family holiday and yep. decided to pop in and I'm so glad I did. I'm, I'm so glad, glad you I did, did too. Yeah. And hopefully we'll get to do it again soon and Absolutely. We, can, we can have another discussion about how mm -hmm. our business can get better because that's, that's yes. what I've got out of it. I found get, what I've got out of my visit mm -hmm. is that um, I need to get better with my processes because sure. I've seen, seen your processes mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. yeah, it's just another level. So yeah, I feel you. like that's something I really need to improve at and yeah, something I'm gonna, a takeaway I'm going to take back. So. Pat, it's very hard to shortcut working at McDonald's. <laughs> there you go. Very hard to shortcut working at McDonald's. <laughs> I'll tell you that. But no, mate, look, we appreciate you coming down and thanks so much for sharing um, all your inspector insights as well. So you're welcome at any time. We'll see you at All Energy, no I'll, doubt. I'll absolutely be at All Energy. So I'm speaking at All Energy in the solar master class ah awesome um, yeah on mm. the on the wednesday the, on the first day mm -hmm. i'll be speaking um in a session yep. i'm speaking about pitfalls for installers great so i'm really looking forward to that putting yeah. all that together now great and um yeah that's that's going to be a lot of fun so yeah. i'll see all of you at all energy um see see jake there again yep. and um yeah if anyone wants to come up and say hi at all energy yeah, it'd be great awesome so, thanks very much everyone see you later thanks guys Uru.